is Jaxie, welcome to my channel. On today's video, I will be showing you guys my empty products. For some reason, these past month, I collected so many empty bottles and I made a promise to myself that I won't be accumulating that many empties. So these videos can take like 20 minutes or so if I accumulate like a lot of empties on top of that, top of that and all of that stuff. I also want to start this new year fresh, clean, with no clutter in my or under my vanity because I usually put my empties like under my vanity and I make a lot of mess down there it's one of like my new year's resolutions because i want to have like a clean vanity all the time and if you look at my vanity right now it's like so dirty new year's resolution just have a clean vanity leave in the comments down below what your new year's resolution will be or if you have more than one anyways without further ado let's get started with this empties video first of all i'm going to show you guys all the first products that i they popped out right now which is a neutrogena triple repair shampoo and conditioner i saw packaging it was like oh i like this purple and i like this blue i'm gonna get this shampoo or like a triple repair shampoo and conditioner they help to men split and they help to repair your hair protect it strengthen and all of that i honestly have been having these bottles for a while now i have like so many shampoos that i just use for one or two weeks and then i go to the next one so i decided to finish these ones up and to be honest there's a reason why i stopped using them it's because they don't really feel like good on my hair the shampoo had to like shampoo twice in order to feel to have my scalp in here feel clean and then for the conditioner i would just apply it on my ends but it didn't feel like no difference in my hair then after using it for like two three weeks you should be able to see like some type of results with shampoos but to be honest with these two i didn't feel a no change at all in my hair so that's why i would not repurchase these two products and i would not recommend them next thing that i have is another shampoo because i told you like i had so many f ways shampoo bottles that i need to finish up so this one is the tea tree lemon stage thickening shampoo from paul mitchell this shampoo it's good but i noticed that i felt my scalp a little bit irritated if i would use it like every day because i'm not a type of person that can go away with not washing my hair for like many days i usually wash it like every day if not every other day because my hair is very greasy so this is supposed to help you with that which i didn't really notice that and then on top of that it's supposed to have like a thickening effect on your hair which i didn't like notice that either it says it has uplifting lemon and soothing sage or whatever but i didn't feel nothing special in my hair and it's expensive like this little bottle it's like a 10.14 ounce of bottle it's like $15 so I don't know I would not repurchase this because it's quite expensive and then I would not recommend this it's like whatever I always have a Shiseo Pureness toner in my empties because it's so good for oily skin and to balance out the skin probably you guys are tired of me mentioning these product but I love it it's a Shiseo Pureness balancing softer wonders especially during the summertime if you're oily skin then I highly recommend this one and I would for sure repurchase Hmm. I have this um, Victoria's Secret of Body Lotion and it's the Secret Craving it has black curry and vanilla scent. I love this so much. I would take a bath and then put it all over my body and it would smell so good. I just love to wear body lotions that are perfumey before going to bed because it just helps me to like relax and everything. So this one right here, um, since it's a lotion I do not love, I rather have the butters. Are they called butters? I just want to check on my other one. Yeah, they're butters. So they have the lotions and the butters which are more thick and more moisturizing. So definitely would repurchase. But I would buy the butter instead of the lotion because I just feel like the butters are way more like hydrating for your body when you have drier skin. I have a nourishing coconut oil um, mist from Organics. I think the brand is um, Organics Beauty Pure and Simple. So this is a mist that you apply all over your, your hair um, before you blow dry it or after or during, I'm not sure. But um, I used to apply this before I would blow dry my hair and then after. This is a super good 
the product because it would not weigh down my hair. It's supposed to be just a hydrating oil for your for the ends of your hair, and I think it really really works. It has coconut oil and bamboo extract, and leaves your hair so soft and silky, but it's not like completely shiny, oily like you know when you apply some type of oils for your hair that it kind of leaves it greasy. This does not do that. It, you just like spray it, and it's so nice. I used to use this on my kids as well, and let me tell you something. I went to the store the other day and I grabbed it and I looked at the price and I'm like that is $9 I'm like cuz it's kind of this is a four ounce which is probably not that expensive because it's a drugstore but I ran out really quick because I used it like every day and I used it on my two kids so this will last me for like two weeks and it's like $10 so put it back because I was like well that is expensive but probably I'll go and buy it again because I need it like I really liked it I love the effect on my hair and on my kids hair so definitely recommend it and I would totally repurchase and I like the bottle and everything and it does have a strong scent it smells like fresh coconut I have right here a bare minerals stroke of light concealer should I say eye brightener this is an eye brightener but it does help to uh, conceal your dark circles um, I often look for products that will conceal my dark circles and do that illumination or brightening effect which not many concealers do and not many eye brighter brighteners do you know they just do eye brightening but they don't conceal and you know what I mean it does the job does two things in one it conceals and brightens your eye area I use the color luminous too and I totally recommend it you guys it's so good it's creamy but at the same time it's super blendable because right now I'm using like some concealer that is creamy but then it dries up so super, super quick that I have to like work it out really fast because otherwise it does like patches under my eye so I highly recommend this one I really need to repurchase this because it's so good and it doesn't crease it doesn't crease trust me I have like a sample of the Estee Lauder gentle makeup remover it's like some of the few products I have tried from Estee Lauder so far and to be honest I did not like this it's like super watery and it does kind of help to dissolve the makeup but it stings my eyes like no other I always look for products and eye makeup removers that won't sting my eyes like this like this product does so I would totally not repurchase these and I mean, if you have no problem with a makeup remover that will sting your eyes, then okay, because it does take the makeup really well. But I just hate eye makeup removers that will like sting my eyes because obviously it's not gonna go into your eye, but just by the fact that it's around my eye area, it'll make me like my eyes watery and it'll burn my eyes. So, therefore, I would not repurchase. I have a Shiseido White Lucent um, cleanser, and this one is so good any concert from Shiseido is super good you guys I highly recommend all of them but this one in a specific it's a brightening cleansing foam so what happens is that it's supposed to help to brighten up the skin kind of even out the skin tone with time and then when you use this it'll look your skin super polished and bright and nice so that's what I love about it if you're looking for a good cleanser any any cleanser from Shiseido is great use their brush and it's super affordable, it's just like $25, it's manual or whatever. Does it have battery or anything? Let me show it to you. So here it is. <laughs> so it's um it looks like this. So what I do is I use like a pea size of the product and then I put it on the palm of my hand and then like lather it up like this and it boosts up like no other. So this even though it is a travel size that you get for free with purchase, um it does last you for like over a month. So if you get that full size cleanser, it'll last you for like over three months, you guys. So it's totally worth it. You're like investing your money, doing something good for your skin. So definitely will repurchase these or any other cleanser from Shiseido. I love the cap of these but this is the bubble cover up concealer and I got this in a boxy charm like a long time ago or I no it was my ipsy I believe so this is a super good concealer it does the two things that I always look out for a concealer which is conceal and then eliminate the eye area this is so good I believe this is in the color medium or I'm not sure if they have like just one color. I highly recommend it. Or purchase or buy. <laughs> Cause I didn't buy it. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> the next thing that I have here is the Smashbox Camera Ready Baby Cream, and this one has SPF, you guys. SPF 15. So it's a product that I 
completely love. I love BB creams and knowing that I'm going to have a BB cream for my eyes that will protect my eyes and on top of that conceal and kind of like, even though it doesn't conceal completely because it's super lightweight, but it does eliminate that under eye area. So I definitely would, would purchase these because this is a product that I would use like every day for like a daily makeup looks when I needed to seal and brighten out my eye area but just like something to be protected. I kind of use it for an eyeshadow base as well so it's a very good product that I highly recommend and I would totally repurchase. I have a lot of concealers I noticed so I have the Clinique Airbrush Concealer pen so this is super good I just love highlighting pens conceal and it does eliminate my under eye area the only thing that I found about this product is that you have to work it out super quick because it does dry out fast don't know if I would repurchase it but it's a maybe last thing that I have here is the Smashbox Fun Finish Foundation Primer this is supposed to minimize the pores on your skin and it's oil free it's a good product I enjoyed it while it lasts but I don't think that we're repurchases because I found something super good. I think Danny from Coffee Break with Danny mentioned that if you use it with a moisturizer or if you use it with like, I don't know, that it gave her some problems. It didn't give me any problems whatsoever. I just enjoyed it and I liked it. But it just that I don't think it will repurchase because I found something way better. It did a good job in covering up my pores like it did like smooth out my skin and everything but I don't feel like it made my foundation last longer. Something that I know it kind of works good so I don't know it's some maybe if I were to purchase or not. Next thing that I have is this Apirador Acne Treatment Solution. It's all blurred out or whatever. They don't sell these in the website anymore but you can find it on Amazon. If you have acne, if you break out occasionally or you have like really bad pimples like especially around your cheek area, I highly recommend that you use these because it's super good. It'll help to calm down your skin. It helps with like breakouts. It does help with the acne scars as well. I did notice a lot of difference in my skin when I was using these. As a matter of fact, because I have not been using these, I have been breaking out lately from my cheek area. So so I need to repurchase this. I really enjoyed it. On top of that, it helps to control the oils of your skin. So even though this is an oil, it has, I believe, um, has like rosemary and argan oil and it's like good stuff. Um, it does not make your skin oily or anything. It has like lavender, it smells so good. It just comes and soothes your skin so nice. I will totally repurchase this. I need it in my life and yeah, I recommend it. Those were all my empty friends. The sun is going down and my face is getting really dark because I have no light on my face. Those are all my products, my review on those empty products that I had and I've been using. I hope you guys got a little bit of help and feedback on these products. If you have more questions, I would be so happy to answer them. Don't forget to like this video and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in my next video and if you want to follow me on my social media, I'll leave everything on the description box below so you guys can go check it out and follow at your girl over there. See you in my next video. Kisses!